it's Charlie from Daily Motor, and today we've got the sound system demo on the 2022 Toyota Tacoma and its 7-speaker JBL audio system. This is going to be an in-depth review, we're going to take a look at how the infotainment system works, take a look at audio puts, inputs, adjustments, controls, speaker locations, then we're going to go out on the road and listen to these sample tracks while we're rolling, and I'll give you my thoughts at the end. Now if you don't care about any of that stuff at the beginning, you just want to listen to the music, click ahead in the video, we've got chapters to get you right to the tunes. And we recommend listening with headphones because then you'll hear exactly what I hear coming into my ears. Before we get started, pop out and take a look at it. This is the TRD Pro trim here in electric green. We've had some fun with it off-road, we've had some fun with it in many other ways. I don't know why my blinker's going on that side, maybe I accidentally hit the turn signal stock. But if you do want to see more on the Tacoma, check the links in the description. We'll have the videos up there. We also have a little bit of footage from a few years ago on a TRD off-road. Tacoma, so a little bit more pedestrian than this, but if you want the ultimate in mid-sized truck off-roaders, this is a very good choice. Now we always do these tests with lossless, uncompressed wave files, hush, on a USB stick plugged directly into the system, and high-quality Roland binaural microphones in both of my ears, giving you the most realistic audio system demo on YouTube. We also do the test with the sound settings set to their factory defaults, so let's take a look at those now. Fairly basic infotainment system here, Entune from Toyota. If you want to see a more detailed review on that, check the link in the description for our infotainment review. But we're in the media screen, so let's go down to sound. Treble, mid-range, and bass adjustments here. Let's go through those. Biggest bandwidth of adjustability there, but I do appreciate having treble, mid-range, and bass. Other than that, you've got front, rear, left, right, fader, and balance. You want to move the sound around, and then an automatic sound levelizer that will kind of tweak the sounds of the music, bring out different sounds as you increase speed and build up more wind, road, and engine noise. I prefer to have that off in Toyotas. I think it sounds a little better to just manually adjust your volume as you drive. Four audio controls here in the Tacoma. You've got a nice volume knob. It's within good reach of both the driver and passenger. It's a little shallow. I wish it were a bit deeper. If you have gloves on, it'd be easier to turn if it were a bit larger. And uh, I kind of also wish there were clicks. Toyota never really has clicks on its volume knob, so not the end of the world, but I would like it. And then you've got left side of the steering wheel adjustments. For track selection, you can either use seek and track up here. You can use the tuner scroll knob. If you're on the now playing screen on the touch screen, you can use that or you can use right by the volume controls up and down to adjust tracks right where they should be. For audio inputs in the Tacoma, you've got your standard AM, FM, Sirius XM satellite radio, a USB A port, Bluetooth, support for wired Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and that is it. What does that mean you're missing? Well, there's no USB type C, not a big surprise considering this is an older designed truck. No wireless Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, that might be a little bit of a bummer for some people and no 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input jack. Speaker locations. As I said, this is a seven speaker system. Pretty straightforward. Starting in the bottom left, you've got a door woofer, two up there, tweeter, three, four on the other side, five, six door woofers, and a subwoofer behind the seat there making seven. So there we are. If you wanna see Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, check the links to our infotainment review, but we're gonna get this stuff put away and get out on the road.
Sized armadillo driving this Chrysler in front of us trying to get onto the highway here. I don't think they've ever piloted a vehicle before in their life. But back to the sound system. Honestly, not too bad. There's a good amount of, of crispness that really surprises me. It's proof that you don't need a ton of speakers to have semi-decent audio in a vehicle. What it is missing out on a little bit is, is power. When the um, all the instruments come in. I'm, I'm not being impressed or wowed or, or moved by the, the presence of the music, but I'm not being offended either. And sometimes for a truck like this, that's, that's kind of the best you can ask for. We're going to test out that sound uh, subwoofer for a little bit here as we navigate the craziness that is uh, southeastern Michigan traffic. Go down here to sound. Also, check out this wheel. I clearly have some mud still built up into it. Bad thing is, is that Jeep Renegade back there was probably pulled over for maybe doing 10, 15 miles per hour over the speed limit, and yet that 100% distracted driver in that Chrysler will drive along just fine and plow into somebody's kids in a school zone someday. 
Anyway, wrapping up my final thoughts on the JBL system here in the Taco. Really not too bad. Like I said, for this style of vehicle that's clearly designed for utility and for off-roading and for plenty of other purposes, I would forgive a lesser sound system. It's not quite gonna earn a B, it's, it's a C. It sounds fairly average. When you really crank up some more complex music, you're not getting much out of it. But for most people's casual listening, it's gonna be pretty good. Another thing that does let it down a little is the dated infotainment. I don't hate it, it's just not impressive either, and some brands do cheap infotainment better. But all things considered, not that bad of a system, C rating here for the Tacoma. Thank you all so much for watching, if you do want to see more on the Toyota Tacoma, check the links in the description, and we'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie from Daily Motor, and as always, drive on.